big game, James. Um, LeBron was fantastic, but I think we got to start with Russ. He had his great moment uh, there at the end of that regulation, getting the steal on the sideline, moving his foot just an inch back, hitting that three. And when he looked down at his stat line, he had a triple-double tonight, 22, 10, and 10. Uh, fish, four threes, but none bigger than the one he hit at the end. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, his individual performance, um, you know, I think he, throughout the game tonight, there was, uh, uh, his body language was relaxed. It was, it was confident, um, not pressing as much to make things happen. And, and there, there are mistakes here and there, but when, when a guy that has the usage rate that he does, like, three or four turnovers over the course of a night when you're handling the basketball 50 or 60 times, you know, that, that's not a big number. Um, you know, and, and what I love the most, I think, about the way this game ended, especially, was, was seeing the way his teammates reacted to those good moments for him personally, which that shows us some of those signs that we talked about pregame about this team being connected or not Sometimes the, the play looks like it's not as connected of a group, but when you see guys celebrating one another, you know, it tells you what Frank Vogel has been saying. These guys still care. They still believe in one another. Um, and, yeah, it's an indication of, like, on a given night, if you have LeBron James, <laughs> Russell Westbrook, and then a guy that didn't play tonight, Anthony Davis, you can figure out a way to win a game. Chance. And, uh, you know, it helps when you make 19 threes which is, that's always a challenge for the Lakers.